Hey everybody, Chiron here, and welcome to episode 1 of Fortress Craft. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this game. I saw it in the Steam Workshop, and it was on sale, and it looked kind of interesting. It's uh, very similar to Minecraft, except it has a lot more factorization and automation and things like that. You basically land in a world and you have to build a new civilization, so it looked pretty interesting, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, I really have no information on the game. I don't know what it's about. I don't... Uh, I've never played before. This is the first time I've really loaded it except for checking my audio settings. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into our world. And you need to make sure you hit enter to save this otherwise it's just gonna keep reverting back on you like it did for me. So uh, for all of our settings here we're just gonna leave them at default, uh, resource, power, everything like that. Death mode is um, probably the only thing that you might want to change so none means if you die you basically just teleport back to your base um, clumsy is a little bit more typical it's where you drop all of your items in Vin Yuri on death <laughs> uh, you drop all your items you can go get them Iron Man it deletes all of your items um, squish core when you die you're dead so it's a hardcore mode and this would be like a super hardcore mode where if you die or if your main building dies um, you're done so Let's keep it on none. Like I said, I've never played this before. I have no idea what it's about, so we'll we'll take it easy on our first round. So we'll go ahead and create our world here. And like I said, uh, I did load into one world just to uh, check my volume settings and things like that. The game is very early beta. Um, it doesn't actually have any kind of sound settings or key command settings or anything like that built into the game. Um, so if you have to change the volume control, you actually have to do it in the volume mixer in Windows. So yeah, <laughs> very basic game. Uh, if you can see in the corner under my name, it does say development build in the corner. Um, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's there. So just uh, just want to give it the benefit of the doubt that if something gets kind of goofed up or something, that it is just an early beta game. Alright, so welcome to the tutorial. Force field will disappear when the tutorial is complete. Um, so we got a force field that we can't walk through. And we've got this structure. So, alright, press E, then add resources to this CPH to make power. Um, add resources. So it burns coal 480 seconds. Can take power. Okay, so this is producing power, and then we're adding it to our suit. And then over here, hold Q to fill uh, your suit from this power storage block. So this is power storage, and I'm full. All right. Uh, press E, then add power to this ore extractor. Um, add power. Okay, so you, you press and hold add power, and it looks like it subtracts from your suit, and then you just fill your suit up again. That's pretty easy. Alright. There we go. Uh, press Q to remove coal from the storage hopper. Okay, so it looks like the, the uh, what is this, the ore extractor extracts coal from this vein and then puts it in the hopper and then this is a, this is power storage so it's the same as this battery over here and there's a something that crash landed next to us <laughs> all right use rmb to scan something lmb to ping unknown if you can't find anything all right so right mouse button scan new block this okay so RMB right mouse button scanning coal vein that's cool it's like a like a mine shaft underneath interesting okay so what do you have uh, press E to open research station and process your scans Oh, so you scan the material and then you come to the research station to figure out what you just scanned. 
and we can make storage crate just like a chest and then whatever these are <laughs> press E to open then craft an Arthur power core um, Arthur power core Crafting. okay so now it gave us this gun thing Context menu. Um, okay, we'll read that later. <laughs> All right, so now we got a little, little guy here. Oops. Um, how do I? There we go. So it looks like if you left mouse button, it places an item. Right mouse button destroys an item. And we got our little guy here. It says all systems nominal. And then something else. All right. Not too bad. It looks like uh, down in our hot bar here, we got some items. So we have an ore extractor, we have a torch, coal ore, conveyor belt, power core, and logistics hopper. And. Alright, so we've got a logistics hopper and conveyor belts, which I'm assuming go here. Oops. Um, what do I put you back? <laughs> oh well. We'll uh, figure that out. Okay, so that's not what we wanted. Oh, there, there was something in the hole, so we couldn't pick it up. Um, so let's put this on the floor here. And bracket and bracket to rotate. Okay. So you just hit uh, one of the two brackets to rotate it, go in the right direction. Oops, uh, wrong button again. Wrong button again. And then we're out of conveyor, so I'm assuming the hopper goes here. Okay, cool. There we go, so it looks like we can take it from this hopper through a conveyor belt to this hopper, and then it goes into this guy. Maybe. Um, add and remove storage full. Alright, so we'll let that guy be. Looks like our barrier went down here, so we can go exploring. See what, what else we have here. So this is a manufacturing plant. Um, so we can pretty much make whatever we want. We need... Lithium, iron, tin, copper... Else we have here basic conveyors copper and tin and copper copper and conveyor belts filters dapper hat <laughs> you can give your little guy a hat that's kind of weird <laughs> all right and uh, let's see um, insert ore to start Unable to find any ore. Inventory. Alright. So we don't have any ore, so we can't do anything with that guy yet. Uh, there's our crash plane. Um, so, like I said, in if you look in the settings, there's not really a whole lot in here, just some graphical settings. Um, so I did open up a side window with a list of all of the key commands, because there are quite a few of them that I don't really know. Um, the one that we'll need is the scanning tool that we had earlier. That's M. So if we right mouse button, we can scan this. Alright, scan new block. Good. This orange guy over here. 
Not a tree. And some leaves. And some gray, probably rock. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like that's really all there is. Hey, look at this little guy. Like an ooze dude. Not sure what he does, but. <laughs> Alright. What is that? He's looking at me. I'm just gonna leave him alone. I don't know what he does. Alright, so then we're gonna take this and go to our research station. And looks like we have all of this we can scan. our tree, that orange thing, the leaves, and the rough-hewn rock. So what we're looking for is some, um, some type of an ore or a mineral or something. Alright, what do we got over here? Um, oh, we have, uh, I think we have something else. We have a laser gun, if we hit V. Um, so, I wonder what happens if you kill these guys. Oh, you shot at us. <laughs> Alright, what did I get? Um, I got nothing. Okay. Ooh. Collected five tin ore. Are you friendly? He looks friendly. <laughs> He's not shooting at me, so that's good. Alright, so let's head back over to our research station here. And there's our tin ore. So that does that make it show up? There we go. So now we made it show up for us. And then we had this guy over here. Press E to put materials into the smelter. Um, okay, so it puts it in 12 at a time. Okay. Um, so we got some tin ore. And the other one that we need looks like uh, is iron and copper. So I don't know if these just drop. Oops, uh, go to the plasma gun thing. Looks like our battery packs are getting a little bit low here. So, um, oh, there's another one. It's the... Grappling hook. Hmm, okay. So the grappling hook apparently helps you get around. So let's go back to this guy over here. Uh, add ore. No? Okay. Alright, cool. Um, can we put this down here? Yeah, we'll uh, just get some building materials. Oh, that's our coal. Ooh, we're out of power. Alright. What else we got here? Yeah. So it looks like our little robot friend joined us over here. It's pretty cool. But really what we need right now is some copper and some iron. Because all we're getting from these guys is tin.
Let's take a peek, see what's up on this hill here. Actually, let's use our grappling hook. See how that works. Oh, that's way easier <laughs> than climbing this flipping mountain. All right, so this is all that uh, rock material. All right, do we know you? Unknown block. All right. Oop, broke my legs. Uh, I'm gonna break my legs again. Oh, no, we're good. All right, so let's uh, grappling hook over and broke my legs. Fill our suit back up. All right, and then uh, up in the corner, it looks like we have a jet pack and a flashlight. Um, hollow base headlight is L. So we have a flashlight we can use by hitting L. And then it's got different power modes, looks like. And then jet pack doesn't work. So I'm guessing we don't have fuel or something. Right. So, pretty cool. Let's uh, go in here and we'll research this rock. So it's just regular rock instead of that hewn rock. Um, and then this has left mouse button to ping. So... Um, okay. So, something is below... Here. So, right below the snow we have something. We have dirt. Alright, we'll ping again. Alright, so it looks like there's a big thing over there and then a little thing over there. We'll go to the big thing. Unknown block detected. And then we'll... Um, get out of this hole somehow. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, hypothermia. Charge our suit back up. So we have a uh, environmental hazard level up in the top corner there. We have external temperature is pretty low, negative 38 Celsius. Internal suit is 18.1. Battery use 1.5. All right, so research station will, let's see we have rubble and copper ore. All right, so the copper ore is what we were looking for. What else we got here? Um, So if we stand next to this, not really much happens. Looks like we were taking damage or something like that. And we do have some torches, so let's torch this place up. I don't know if anything spawns here. I'm assuming since we have a weapon that it does. Oh, our external temperature goes up when we get close to these torches and our battery use changes. Okay, so if, if we're warm, our battery use goes down. That's good. All right. So, not really any recipes or anything we can do. We have 37 research points. So, black box data, local life forms, suit upgrades, basic mining upgrades. Um, that looks pretty important. Base building automation requires laboratory. Power grid. Can't survive just the power produced by a central power hub for long. So we'll get that. Okay, so it gives us more recipes. It's a basic drill motor. Insert into an orange extractor to improve copper wire. Okay, so we need we need some materials and stuff now. So we have these ore extractors. Um 
Oh shoot, <laughs> I forgot where that tin vein was. Um, any kind of a map or anything either. Let's, uh... Okay, so I, I might need to figure out how we can use that ping again. But, for now, we'll just kind of wing it. Alright, so there was, uh, there was something by our base. was kind of in this area, I believe. So we'll uh, just dig down a little bit. Nothing? All right, we'll uh, put down some torches. Running out of power here. So let's. This grappling hook our way out of here. Alrighty. And then we'll get rid of some of this material so that we can easily walk up. Alright. Uh, we need power. So Q. And then back into our hole. Where's our hole? There's our hole. Probably gonna break my legs on this, so... <laughs> okay, cool. So if you, if you fire your grappling hook, um, it'll prevent you from breaking your legs. So we can go back to our little scanner here. All right, and here's that deposit that we were looking for. Oops. All right, oops. So we'll dig this out a little bit. what this is. Scanning tin ore vein. Alright, so it looks like we have a really big tin ore vein. There's something up there further. Let's see if we can get out of here. So this is coal, and we're out of power again. All right, so that's a coal vein. right here and under here so let's let's continue our hole here a little bit and we'll only dig down part way Excavate this area just a little bit here. All right, and what is this? Another tin ore vein. So that's a huge tin ore vein. Um, why don't we, why don't we start working on 
that. So we have this huge tin ore vein right here. That's right below our base. We have an ore smelter. I'm guessing we can set up a hopper and a conveyor, just like we did there. So let's, uh, let's find a spot we can dig down here. We'll, uh, we'll go right here. All right. So, I want to set up one of these ore extractors. I think we need some room to be able to put in some stuff. So let's get a torch in place here. And just clear this all out. And we'll put an ore extractor. There. And then I'm guessing we have to power it. I'm out of power, myself. So we'll go fuel up. And back into our hole. Alright. And then we need some conveyor belts and a hopper. So we can match up with uh, what that other one was doing. Alright, so how's our ore smelter doing? Um, we got eight tin bars, alright. And nothing else we can put in there. Alright, so we'll go to here. And we need. What do we need? We need. Logistics hopper, I think? Entry level storage stores up to 10, but transfers very slowly, but transfers faster, transfers quickly, but we don't have any iron, we have tin, we don't have any copper. Mm, that could be a problem. <laughs> so we still need to find some copper, it looks like. So how's this guy doing? All right, we'll get him all powered up, and then we shall go out and find some copper. Alright, E, we'll put you in there. <clears throat> and take out our scanner. Alright. So there's that vein that we were just at. Um, let's see what this is right here. Uh, M. Alright, so this is more tin. And then, is there anything close by? Not really. So let's uh, put a torch in here, and then escape. Oops, low power. So let's let's get that all powered up. Add power. Should we, can we E restores power? So I think what we can do is we can drain it from this battery, put it in this battery, and then this battery will power this. Yeah. That's a lot easier than going into it, so. 
All right. So we have that hole there. And then we had this hole here. Nope, that's not a hole. Where was our other hole? Oh well. Um, we'll uh, scan again. Um, so a couple things over here. Let's see. Let's see what we got in here. Coal vein. All right, not what we're looking for, but good to know. And we have something over here. And dig down. Coal vein. So that's more coal. Hmm. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Ooh, too far. again. See if we can find some flipping copper in this joint. Let's see. I think that's the thing that we already explored. It's a big thing over here. We already explored this one? Yep. So let's, uh, wait, what is this? Oh, this is, uh, copper ore. Okay, so we have some copper really close by, right here. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's get this one working as well. So we'll come down here. We'll start removing some materials. All right. And we'll put one of these here. Oops. Then add power. And then we'll go get some more power for ourselves. There's home, there's home. All right, so this one is next to the wreckage by a tree. And we're getting hypothermia here. Can we stand on a light? Yeah, if, if we stand near a light, we can, uh, we can get rid of our hypothermia too. So that'll be good to know if we're in like a cave or something to always make sure that we're by a lamp or a torch. All righty. So I think the other material that we needed was iron. Let's see. All right, so we got some copper. We can go over to our finery here and copper. Take our tin out. And we should be able to get some copper, and we can do some things. <laughs> Not sure exactly what we can do yet, but uh, um, I think, uh, let's see. Oh, we wanted to replicate this, so we need some conveyor belts, and we need some hoppers. So that's over here. Nope, that's here. All right, so these look like they're the same price. This one is more expensive. Alright, so we'll do the logistics hopper. It's two copper and two tin. 
Um, conveyor belt. This produces one, this produces five. I think we'll have to do, we'll do the basic one. And I don't think we need to do the slope yet. All right, so this is still working. All right, so let's, uh, let's build. Hmm. I think uh, I think what we might have to do is just gather some materials for now. I think over here was our. Oh man, <laughs> I need a map. This this place is big and hard to get around. Let's see. Is it over here? I don't even know anymore. Alright. So, I think what uh, we're just going to have to do... So, we're ore smelter. Alright, so what I think I'm going to have to do is just kind of walk around and see if I can find my copper vein again. <laughs> Actually, I should be able to do it. What in the world? Huh, interesting. And I'm out of power. So I think I'm just going to have to collect up a little bit of copper. And we'll have to... Uh, Start crafting some stuff on the next episode. So low storage. All right. So yeah. So I'll uh, I'll just collect up a little bit of material so that we have something that we can uh, start making some of those hoppers and the conveyor belts. So. All right. And I think that'll do it for now. So I uh, hope everybody enjoyed. If you did, uh, feel free to uh, leave a like or a comment, and uh, you know just give me some tips. Like I said, I've never played this before. This is the first time ever loading into the game. And I would definitely appreciate it if anybody does know um, what they're doing here. So, uh, yeah, that would be great. So thanks for coming out, everybody, and see you next time.